I got something unexpected. Something bright, somewhat new. It's not expensive, but it's perfect, and it's beautiful, and it's mine. What else can I say? Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. All right. So, hence the title of my video. Sorry about that wild intro there. I really love that paper bag, though. All right. So, it's Christine here, and my intro. Sorry about that, but I was really just happy. And the title of the video actually says, this is not what I wanted, because it really wasn't what I intentionally came into the store for. And just so you guys know, this was my first experience of going into the actual Tory Burch Boutique, and I was kind of expecting a different layout. This one was completely different than what I had imagined, because I've only been to like the, the outlets and stuff. Anyhow, everything was like so nicely laid out, beautiful. It looked like a big walk-in closet. So you really don't know what they have unless you really ask the staff. And if you knew the product, then that's the only way you can ask them. Like, hey, do you know this bag? Do you have this and that? Anyways, we walked in there and I knew what I wanted. I asked them and they're like, oh, let me go check in the back. They checked in the back, they don't have it. So they gave me whatever they had and I found this one. And I told my husband, I really like that color. I didn't even see this on the website. And then I saw it in a different Tory Burch website, but it was not in US. It was like something, I think it's Qatar. I don't know. But it's the Crescent um, bag. But to be exact, the name is... It's not on there. But I know it's the Crescent bag. Now, this is... What color are you? I'm going to go find out really quick and I'm going to put it somewhere here. Alright, so that's the color. To me, this color is lilac. And it's in a patent leather. Initially, what I wanted was the pink one. It was on sale for like $159. Um, it was the nylon version of this one. Now, they didn't have it in stock, although the website says that they had it in stock, but you know what? You can't really trust the website. When you get to the store, that's when you find out what they really have in stock. So they didn't have it, so this is what they had. And then, randomly, this other like sales associate was just like, oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. He scanned it, and he's like, oh, it's on sale. <laughs> sure, indeed. And so my husband bought it. And again, I like to buy things when they're on sale. I, like, I don't like to pay for full-price products. And... Anyhow, that's the bag, and it's glorious, a beautiful patent leather. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually from their Spring Collection 2022. So I just got really lucky. Now, they had two of these. The other one, I could barely open, and this one is smoother than the other one. So, I mean, it being a crescent, that is actually a normal thing for you to actually struggle in um unzipping and zipping the bag but thus far is doing really good so this one comes with three straps now you've got the um i'm gonna put this one down you've got the cloth i got cloth the fabric strap there you go the fabric strap um it's sort of thick i'm gonna show you um another one and this is the kind of strap that I like, the thick ones. Now, if you have the Marc Jacobs um, camera bag, you can just side by side see how much of a difference they are next to each other. I mean, it's good. I liked it. I actually tried it on in store. That's why the wrapping is all um, removed already. So this is really nice. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or my cell phone camera to be more precise. Um, this is a bit more cream, kind of like this. Yeah? Huh? Huh? Okay. Or like <laughs> the handle of the bag. You guys, shout out again to this beautiful bag. This is really pretty. I didn't expect it to be that nice. I thought it was just going to come in with the, um, you know, typical Tory Burch paper bag, the purple and pink. Um, anyway, the other one is just this chain. Technically, it's for design, for the aesthetics of it. Or, 
you can use it as the strap for like the shoulder bag which i'm gonna show you just a minute here just taking out the straps and then this third one is the patent leather strap so just that right there for you yep so and then the interior of the bag very small but it can fit my iphone 12 pro max and i don't really bring that much stuff so it's just an open interior and then you got two let me remove that you got two card holder there card holder card slots that is also a patent leather and then the rest is like suede material now if i am to show you what fits inside the bag grab my stuff real quick so i'm just gonna put in whatever i usually put in small purses such as my card holder so i'm gonna put the tory birch kira card holder my key fob my hand lotion and you know what somebody actually told me um you're not bringing hand sanitizer i actually do here it is i just haven't been putting it in my bag <laughs> which i should the what is that i keep forgetting what this is airpods because i don't want to say ear pods it's airpods airpods my lipstick dang it can fit so much in here house keys and i could still i still have room to slide in my phone in there so i'm gonna show you right now how it looks inside see it's pretty roomy i mean it looks really small but it's pretty roomy um so like that what else do i have in here that i should be bringing with me um pens yeah so i'm gonna put the pen in there have the pen in here all right like <laughs> i'm gonna go all over the place here hold on all right so sunglasses okay now this time i have the proper uh, dust bag for my sunglass i left it in my car so i found it earlier so i'm gonna go put that in there so let's see if it fits if it closes or whatnot I think i'm stuffing too much in there but with the right organization they should all fit so i'm gonna put them back in there again remove you really quick and then hand sanitizer airpods okay just to show you guys i do have everything i said i put in there ta-da and i'm gonna slide in my sunglasses my tory birch sunglasses in its glorious dust bag. Hey, hey, get in there, my loves. I guess the dust bag is kind of like getting stuck in the zipper. So. Oh. So I guess not. It should fit. I feel like I'm just not doing this correctly. I need to play more Tetris. Oh. I just don't want to like break my sunglasses here. Yeah, no. Nope. I don't think it fits. I don't think it fits, guys. Oh, wait. I think it fits. Yep, it fits. Just kidding. Yeah, it fits. Again, with not a little bit, but a lot of struggle and effort. Um, it does fit and it keeps the shape. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? So, my bag did held, um, well, it's currently holding everything that I carry in my normal um, outgoing bag. Because I was using my Matisse. And that's what, the, everything that was in my Matisse is in here right now. So, anyways, let's put on the design i know you guys are probably wondering like she's always in pajamas yeah because i only have time at night to record and i'm actually about to remove my makeup and do my skincare for the night so that's how it looks with that little chain so you can just leave it like that and then use it as a crossbody a crossbody <laughs> shoulder bag right you put it in the crook of your arm but then that hurts that that would really hurt so yeah 
that or you can use that as the little design as it's supposed to be and then put in the patent leather strap what is it how do you say it? patent or patent patented you know it sounds better when you say patent leather so i'll just stick with that patent leather so here's that or oh, did i show you that oh that little logo there so this is in the silver hardware i mean i do like it in silver i don't think um tory birch makes a lot of handbags with silver hardware so this is actually pretty unique in my opinion or kind of um out of tory birch's comfort zone so that's how it looks on me this is like perfect now i understand why they love the um why people like the crescent bag as the shoulder bag because now it's like it just sits perfectly there you know it's not awkward like i'm gonna show you my pillow tabby real quick i know i have everything handy you guys i am prepared Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry. You all saw my legs. My mommy thighs. It's alright. I don't care. We're here for the bag. So, like, see how my pillow tabby is just like... Wank. I mean, it's cute and all, but, you know, pretty comfortable. But, like, I'm I'm like a chicken. Versus the Tory Burch crescent it's just like it's just perfect you know i don't look like i'm struggling to hold my stuff well that's that and with the strap i don't even know if you guys can see me right i'm actually gonna go ahead and remove this guy right here so we can focus on the thick strap for the fabric strap so i really like this one I, I can see myself wearing, wearing this one, rocking it with a straight jeans, white shirt, cropped sweater, and then this one. Ta-da! See, oh my goodness. I really love this bag, like, y'all. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I found this one that was currently available at Nordstrom right now, but it's not on sale. Um, this one I got on sale. Um, yeah. It is available overseas, but it's like, I did the calculation, it was $590. Not worth it, so I just really got lucky. But if you do find these available, sometimes it appears available at Nordstrom.com. You can go check them out. Um, currently, today is November. What is today? Alexa, what day is today? Okay, so today's November 17th, and currently Nordstrom Rack has a special going on with Tory Burch. So they have a lot of their products on sale right now at, Tor at NordstromRack.com. Now, I do know that some of the styles um, that they have on NordstromRack.com is about maybe a season behind. So they're putting up whatever they have left from the last seasons. So, however, I mean, sometimes they still put up the same product that they have in Nordstrom, but then it's not sale. It's not on sale in Nordstrom, but it is on sale at Nordstrom Rack. So, but yeah, here's that. It's a beautiful patent leather crescent bag. This is so beautiful. I know it reminds us of the Prada, but a fraction of a cost. Like a fraction of a cost. I know Prada is like over two thousand dollars. <laughs> you won't even spend at least ten percent of that price in this bag. So yeah, this is really, really pretty and gorgeous bag. So now that I've shown you this one, I'm actually going to show you another one I picked out from the store. Um, it just so happened I was looking for an Ella tote bag and they didn't have whatever I was looking for. And then she was like, oh, you know what? I found this one in the back. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is what I was looking for. It's just, I forgot that I was looking for this. Isn't it so beautiful? So this one's also on sale. The regular price on this one was $248. I got this for $149. So yeah, this is a nice nylon tote bag. And I am so happy about this purchase that I went home and I ordered from Amazon.com a bag organizer, the slim, not slim, is it slender? The slender medium bag organizer and it fits perfectly and in the color, it's just a perfect match in the interior of this tote bag. Let me show you real quick. So this is the interior. 
if you don't already know. And then it's got a slip pocket right here, a zipper pocket uh, in the back, nice zipper lining there, and it's a nice smooth nylon interior here. And then this bag organizer that also has like a slot for cup or bot water bottle, which is really nice. This is gonna be my perfect bag. And my Bible fits perfectly in there. So I can use this for my um, Bible, I mean my church things. So eh, isn't that so cool? And it's got that little, I didn't know this before, that this was actually a pocket. <laughs> Interesting. I am a caveman. I'm so behind. So this is the receipt that I got from the store. So fancy. Hmm. I forget how much like paper, um, how much paper they waste at the boutique. Yeah. Just so they can be so luxurious feeling, right? But again, this is such a beautiful bag. It's brown, lilac, and eh, they match, y'all. Huh? So I can technically bring this with me and have most of my stuff and then my little things to go with me when I just go run to the store or, you know, when you get off the car to put some gas and then you run to the store in the gasoline station, get some snacks, it's just your bag. I mean, I know you're just going to the gasoline store, but you all want to be fancy, right, sometimes? I mean... Go take your bag someplace else. I will. I will. Not just the gas station. Not just the mall. But I'm just saying. This is going to be my on-the-go bag. While I carry this with me. To take care of the rest of my heavier, bigger things. But yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. But hopefully that made sense. Well, anyways. That's really all I have for this video. Just wanted to show you guys what I got from the Tory Burch Boutique when we went to the South Coast Plaza Mall. Because I already know I already showed you guys my coach purchase now this was just about the toy birch purchase and then maybe i'm thinking showing you guys my toy birch collection in the near future and why i love toy birch so much but anyhow that's all i have thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great one bye i'll go wash my face